I think I pressed the wrong one. I think that's okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So sorry about that. Hey, listen, I'm just happy because uh, we, we bought a table. It got delivered here. And they're supposed to just drop it off at 2 o'clock and leave. But the, he's like, hey, we're here super early. We have, like, extra time because, like, our, we're just like, ahead of schedule. We're not supposed to install this. Do you mind if we just put it together for you? And I was like, no, no, it's cool. I'll put it together. You just leave it right here. It's like, no, we can put it together. Don't worry about it. I was like, no, no, you can just leave it right there. He's like, we got this. Don't worry, buddy. You know, you look like you're busy. And I was like, okay. But luckily, I actually had 40 bucks in cash on me. I had two 20s on me. So I was like, it costs like $200 to have it put together. I actually had some cash on me. I was like, how about 20 bucks each? They're like, sweet, thanks. They didn't expect it. I was like, yes, okay. Like, oh, that's good news. I mean, I'm sure that they, that's what they were trying for. Like, oh, look at this. Don't tell them we installed this. Because, you know, whatever, here you go. <laughs> go buy lunch, you know what I mean? But, oh, <laughs> man. How often do you actually have cash nowadays? It's 2019. All right, so uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We are back. We're here. We're, we're good. Okay. Um, did you guys talk about boons? Did you talk about any of your abilities? Or did you just talk about how beautiful Jake's eyes were, uh, are when he's tired? We discussed we talk... many things. Yes. One of which was looking at the benefits of a larger army. Please stop aspiring, Scott. Looking at the benefits of a larger army, is there a reason not to combine our forces into the biggest possible force to have a gargantuan army for the CR plus six? Yep, like I can think of a hundred reasons. Engagement. I can think of a hundred reasons. <clears throat> let's say you combine everybody for the initial engagement down in um in let's get to the map so i can see it <clears throat> right here the battlefield the line of combat well you know what the the, the plan the that's right the vigil came up with that i'm goading uh so then that that army would be the army would use to crush them into the walls yep absolutely so so once again <clears throat> if you put them uh the biggest army you possibly can right here that sounds great a couple of things one um, only one commander can command one army, so you only get that one commander's abilities for that one group. Oh, let's give them all to, what's his name? Uh, Leon. Leon. That sounds Leon. great. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you can only use resources that you can afford for the, for the entire army. You can't be like, well, no, it's a thousand people, but like 500 of them have horses, 500 of them don't. No, can't work. Does not work. They all have to have the same resources. You have to pay the cost for every one of them to have the resource. And the multiplier in that is really expensive as you go up with um, uh, how big the army is. But then there's also, remember that plan one that Leon gave you about Vigil? Remember how Vigil's all fighting on the front wall and somebody happens to walk in the back wall and catches them with their trousers down? No, no, know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, AKA we should, we should put some defenses there just in case. I mean, is offense the best defense? Is it? Is it? Bad Scott. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just saying, I've played soccer, or sorry, football, uh, uh, for many years when I was a kid. We didn't take the goalie out of the goal and send them down the field to kick the ball. Just saying. You know, you had D for a reason. You had two D and a goalie for a reason. Same thing with hockey, if you guys are from Canada. <clears throat> Does that answer your question? Mm, sort of. Line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. hmm. Anyway, uh, uh, for burns. Are we talking also, about sorry. Life? Also, uh, uh, other tactics beyond just like the thing tactics. If you're actually looking at a battlefield, like a legitimate battle, and armies meeting on them, um, uh, if you have one army meeting with an army, it just goes like this. Then you can't have another army come around the backside and flank. You can have another army that maneuvers and splits off and kind of goes away by keeping them as their own separate armies with their own separate commanders. Because it's one of those things you can't just be like, no, 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 Scott, shut up, listen. We're going to do a thousand, but then like when we need to, we'll split off. Cool, sounds great. It takes, I think, uh, a month for a new commander to take over or something like that, or at least a week for a new commander to take over. So it's not like you just like, all right, guys, go! It's like, no, it takes time for you to reshuffle command. It's not a one-day uh, situation to reshuffle command um, uh, so you can split off and do all these different things. So just also it's, something to be wary of. Yeah, I, I get the idea. It's, it's one of those things that like, realistically, it would be one army in lots of little parts moving up because that, that's how armies work. 
That's but. exactly that's exactly how how it works mechanically. If you have as um, uh, say five two hundreds versus one one thousand, it'd be one yeah, army. Well, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like it's weird that that is less of in terms of for the actual like bonus health. That's less effective than just a mob. It's just the, the mechanics are super simplified. They really are just like crazy simplified, which is very beneficial because do you really want to get into the bogged down nitty gritty of XYZ? So. Sure. Anyway, for the the boons, I was going to go with loyalty because the plus two on morale checks sounds real good. Yeah, and you already are a plus four on morale, so giving you the six, I think that makes you as good as Leon. That's That's really good. Okay, cool. Uh, I would grab that. That's your boon. Did Jake choose a boon? Cat and dog are playing. Hold They're the so log. cute. I, I you know, I, I had a feeling. I was like, he's going to take Merciless unless it's not an option, then it's going to be hold the line. <laughs> uh, Want to see pictures? Do you want me to take my phone out and start like aiming down and taking pictures for you? Uh, not right now. Not right now, Scott. Come on. You've already punished the viewers enough with your wanton absences throughout the stream. Wow, look at this man. He is shameless. He disregard. He take picture. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, I, I, I was waiting for, for what all the boons are going to be. Just post it to post the Discord. We can't see it properly. Yeah, come yeah. on, Scott. Sorry. Technology <laughs> confuses me. Learn how to me. use technology, baby. So hold the line for you, Jake. Is that, that's one of the options for your uh, position. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. And um, what's the... Uh, uh, the ones that you're going to choose there, Neil. I think you had mentioned Sharpshooter or something like that, but I don't know if you know what Sharpshooter does. Uh, I'm thinking of going Hit and Run. Hit and Run is a beautiful tactic. You sound like a kind of Hit and Run kind of guy. Just going to hit it and quit it. You know what I'm saying? Nice. I've um, got two boons. Sniper support's a good one if you have ranged on the army that you happen to be commanding. Which most likely I will. Where's sniper support? I can't see this one. Uh, more is or less. Party? No, no, no. Sniper no. support was on one of the other. It's, like one of our commanders had it. So more or less, you have to imagine if your army is, let's say, 200 people, uh, 175 of them run forward, but like 25 of them hang back with bows, and then like every time in the melee phase that you do damage, they do two extra damage. Where so, is that? It's uh, just go to the uh, PFSRD game mastering other rules mass combat and. Control I'm F sniper there. support. And you can just control F's a, a command on uh, That's the a internet. Tactic. Oh shit! Sorry, then my apologies. I am so sorry. You are one hundred percent correct. No, he's but since he's you offered right. it as a boon, I'll take it. Uh, and, and your current uh, position is what? Magister? No. no. What Spy are you? Spy master. Spy master. Oh, sharpshooter's kind of like merciless. You gonna be merciless? I mean, you did already give all those souls to those demons. Might as well. Uh, might as well you send don't a few know more. about that, Scott. <laughs> might as well send a few more there, right? Green, you know what I'm talking about, right, Green? Green, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking hit and run, because yeah. mounted and ranged makes sense. So what he does is he is he sh kills people and runs away, and kills people, and runs away, and when they feel a little bit weaker, he runs up and murders everybody, everybody. Like, no, not my baby. He's like, call me a fucking dingo. Scott, what? Scott. <laughs> what? Scott, do we, do we have time for this? <laughs> Probably not. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm sorry about my professional streamer, guys. <laughs> I, I'm going to have a word with him after this. And uh, I just want to say he said my professional streamer, which means he claims ownership. Of you, yeah. It, it was one of the boons. <laughs> 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 I said, I want Scott. You okay, well, I... the DM. <laughs> you right. get godly powers. Like, you know, for a boon, you, you get some left. You want to take a plus two in profession soldier too? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, cool. So, uh, are you going to take sh uh, sharpshooter and hit and run? Uh... I can't take any others, really, can I? Oh, well, no, because oh. I can choose from the standard list for yeah, one of them. Exactly. You can choose from the standard list for one of them, exactly what you just said. Mm -hmm. So I would take hit and run. Um... Hmm. Yeah. 
it, it, it would make sense to me to go for like defensive tactics because it's just like a flat buff by two all the time. What's your opinion? Or maybe I should go for a bonus tactic. Let me have a look at tactics actually. Oh, for a bonus tactic versus gotcha. Yeah, defensive tactics is a is a nifty one when you mix it with hit and run because it's a very very defensive uh, uh, approach to it. I mean, yeah, I mean, literally, if you're on mounts and you're you've got range weapons, loyalty might not be a bad one for you either because you kind of suck at it. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, your leadership score is going to increase. Uh, Actually, what's your, your leadership score is what right now? Oh, it's six. only six. Never mind. Never mind. It's yeah. going to take a while. It needs to be like a bloody 12 or something. Yeah, for you to get the additional bonus, yeah. What is my current leadership? Six, I, th I think. And what, what is it required for, for... No, sorry, not my current leadership. Yeah, so you my... make it for fl flexible. You make it for hit and run. You Oh, hit and run you get for free, even if you don't make it. You make it for yeah, defensive yeah. tactic. You mean uh, morale for you? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a plus one. Zero from Charisma, one from uh, Professional Soldier. Jesus, that's rubbish. Yeah, yep. maybe I'll just have to go for a flat loyalty, otherwise I'm going to be down and out. I think people here would appreciate it if you didn't call Jesus rubbish. Thank you. Um, Dirty Fighter sounds like your approach. This sounds a little bit bordering on, on slander here. No, no, no. <laughs> Because Rayrin's a, a, and I truly mean this as not a joke, uh, Rayrin is an opportunistic person. He's the kind of person that would definitely use the trick up his sleeves if it's going to be successful and save people in the long run. Army uses trickery and unfair tactics to gain advantage. For one melee phase this battle, its offensive modifier increases by six. That's not bad. Exactly. And again, it's, it's very much like a ends justifies the means sort of approach. Uh... Uh, let's, so let so I've got a hit and run and extra tactics, which uh, and then the tactic is hit and run. So the thirty it's it, not hit, it's dirty fights. Dirty fights. Yeah, what's that. funny is because the whole idea of extra tact, bonus tactics, or whatever those are, those are tactics that you as a commander, every army you walk into, you just you're so good at yeah, training yeah. this, people just know what to do, and so you're like, all right, guys, battles tomorrow. We don't have time to train, so here's the plan. Go for the nuts. That's it? <laughs> Go for the nuts. It's going to work. I promise, guys. <laughs> After the first round, everybody's like, oh, you ain't going for my nuts. I got to put the shield low. We put the shield low. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Oh. Simple, but effective. Slimy, but satisfying. All right, so. um Sue. <laughs> No. There's a, an old book called The Book of Feats that I have. It's a third-party book. I can't remember who the pub publisher was. Not very good. It's very broken feats, very 3.0. Anyways, one of the last feats in the book is called uh, Monkey Grabs the Peach. And it, <laughs> with our current political climate, <laughs> you can imagine it goes very well. <laughs> but the feats from like 2002. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So our commanders are sorted. However, uh, we did say uh, the secondary mounted force from Varen might mm -hmm. be better put under Raren's leadership if we're all mounted. Because yes. then we have a mounted force that's large, it's 200, it's plus two. So, mm -hmm. so the uncommanded one coming from Varen, that is 200, uh, sorry, 100 mounted soldiers with ranged weapons. Which is the same as Rayrin's. Well, so. Rayrin's is an assumed one. Um, yes, you, yeah, obviously. The mounted you got from them as well. Ranged weapons you have to pay for. I just assumed, because the way you were talking beforehand, that you'd want it. I think it's a good idea, because we have the BP, mm -hmm. and having an extra a fight, extra damage phase makes sense, because our army is already on the back foot against Halgrim. Yep, I, I agree with you on everything you just said. Ranged weapons cost uh, two BP and increase the consumption by one. Consumption, of course, will apply, but uh, the way BP works is as a multiplier to it. So the two BP of her army would be automatically there, and then I think it's just a times two for a large army. So I think you just have to pay the two BP to give it to your soldiers. Give me one moment. I'm trying to find it. I'm sorry. Uh, it is. Yeah. So you just have to pay the two BP one time because she already supplied them for the other army. 
Um, so it's only two PP to arm them with ranged. Correct. That seems reasonable. Correct. And then that would turn that whole army into um, a uh, a two hundred man army, which I agree is that approach right there is a good one. Having everybody as one thousand probably not, but having at least two two hundred person armies um, with a it looks like a, a Vatku, unless she has changed that, is going to be a one hundred person army, and then uh, Jaeger having the um, five hundred person army is a, is a pretty good combo. Yeah. Cool. I guess, okay. I guess I will have an army of the peoples. <laughs> Um, under war details, that tab, if you guys can please write your boons inside there so it's known and not forgotten in the future. Uh, ah, there we go. Please and thank you. So, uh, Neil, I will combine those for you later on. Can I tell you guys another fun fact? Um, the way that the ACR works, which is the primary, um, uh, it's the, the number that you use to decide your defense and offense, is it actually is based off of the average uh, unit inside the the army inside that particular army in the situation of mounted soldiers you actually use the horses cr if it's higher if it's higher if it's higher exactly then then the persons which is why the mounted armies are so much better than the foot armies um and mounted also gives you a bonus to your dv and om so if we're using the mount cr and Raren can take all the militia correct he can just have an army for the militia and it won't affect it because we're using the mount CR. Correct. So we can then equip uh, Leon with all soldiers. I, I already did that. I kind of like filled in okay. his gaps with the cool. soldiers. I actually put yours as army, but realistically I gave you, uh, I, I kind of did one of those, well it's Leon, I'm going to do special rules for Leon. We're going to give a hundred of the, the army to Rayrin and then Leon will just be like, yeah these guys are like maybe a third militia but he's good enough, it's fine. I just gave that one forgivance for him. So, all right, cool. Problem is to to get this full force that you guys have set here on your next kingdom uh, rolls, which we're about to do. You have to be successful on your on your loyalty check. You have to be successful on your loyalty check when you get there. Okay, so um, you can't screw that. Luckily, you have a plus five from the last time failure. That's good news, and um, uh, luckily other factors, right? So we need to do our kingdom roll unless there's anything else with the armies that you guys have questions about. No, then... let's go. Let's smash through it. Jake's about to die. Yeah, all right. Um, Jake's like, I haven't tasted blood in so long. I like how Jake's head's just getting lower and lower. He almost looks like my little brother now in the Amarok <laughs> yeah. campaign. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> now he looks like Messi in every session. I'm like, Messi, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Messi, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, is he turn up on time yet? Oh, he does every time now. Yep. <laughs> it's just mornings are rough for children. Um, so <laughs> please clip that. <laughs> so um, moving on, the uh, kingdom phase. This is everybody's favorite part. Watching us just roll random dice. So I suppose that's what D and D is. Um, here we go. Who wants to roll the stability check for uh, the kingdom's unrest? I believe we established that this is the rulers. Oh, uh, oh! by the way, I'm so sorry. We didn't go over this. Uh, more refugees came in as well. All right, and of course, they're redirected to Rid, so there are, in fact, more refugees. That situation hasn't resolved uh, itself yet. What's the modifier? So, um... It's actually, I think, an auto-success for you. Unless you have some serious penalties I'm not aware of. Stability I is plus 28. I can't scroll Here we go, back sorry. to the... Oh, stability plus is a plus 28. 28, and the DC is a 29. So you just have to roll two or higher. That's it. Just the two or higher. Do you not just only have to meet it? You actually have to roll higher. No, 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 no. Natty one. That's it. That oh. actually works. Even though this... Ah, huh, fair enough. Uh, let me... Let us roll a 20, then. Da, 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 da. Hey, who's rolling? You. You. Me? Okay, okay. You're the ruler. 1d20 yeah. plus 28. It looked like you had started to roll. You rolled beautifully. I think, I think, I think we can do it. <laughs> yep. Uh, Your no unrest one's... is reduced by one, so it actually goes down to one unrest, which is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Good job. Um, all right. That brings us to consumption. Your uh, consumption is done. You actually, so here's the issue. 
is you guys were actually building your army um, last month, like throughout the course of this month. You were building up your army and you had to pay to have them. As a matter of fact, what's your name? Uh, showed up. Uh, what the hell's her name? Hinta. Hinta showed up. And because the army is currently reserves right now, they're not being actively used. You only have to pay the consumption once a month instead of once a week right now. But you still have to pay for it. So looking at that um, our army phase, you guys weren't able to get your huge size army yet. You only got your um, uh, the one down from that, so a large size. So your consumption of the large size army uh, with mounts and everything um, is going with uh, bows because you're purchasing bows is going to be a three. Taking that to four for a large size army. So consumption. But we're not outfitting a large size army with mounts. So. Oh, I suppose we. Well, no, because we're outfitting a medium size because their other their guys are coming on that up, but they increase the consumption by one. No, you're fine. I see what's going on here. So no, it's good. So Hinta is a three. Hinta's other one is a three. And then the army that you're currently uh, doing yourself is a two. So there's going to be eight points of consumption for the standing army. Uh, Vatku's army, which is also a standing army at the moment, uh, you have two options. You can tell them, even though they don't have this uh, ability, but you're, they're currently on reserve, not actively being used. You can tell them uh, to live off of the land, and it's going to be based off of a survival check. Or you can pay the one consumption to make sure that they're readily available where you need them when you need them. You're currently paying eight for your armies uh, that haven't fought yet. Total. Outside, just pay the one consumption. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so nine. So it's nine yeah. plus your uh, kingdom's normal consumption. Ouch. Which is, uh, which is eight. So nine plus eight <laughs> is 17 consumption. We're then down to I just minus stuff the nine. Correct. So we're then down to twenty. I hope music didn't just like go crazy while I was gone. No, it's Dana Witcher, thank God. Wrong Witcher, I think, but that's okay. You're the wrong Witcher. Thanks. Dance. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you paid it. You paid the seventeen. Yeah, which is huge. Yep. I've heard that once or twice. Um, and then, uh, that's why you want wars to be fast. How do Gwen's BP must be just being pissed away? They had a bank. Keyword. <sighs> um. We stole a lot of their banked goods. I mean, we didn't steal it. Idric stole it and didn't tell us that, and we just banked it. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. After that is going to be roll for magic items. So this is you, Jake. You're ch tesh, 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 tesh. You're rolling the D100, high or low, what is better? Tell us which. Uh, Historically uh, high. Okay. Hi. Okay, roll 81 or better. He rolls a three. That's in the middle, oh, doesn't matter. No. So you just get the one magic item. All right, are you ready? We're gonna do this quickly again. Roll me a D100. Ooh, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> 84 is still just a wondrous item. Uh, roll me a D100 to find out what kind of wondrous item. Just a wondrous item. <laughs> uh, it's a shoulders item. Roll me a D100 again to find out what it is. Thirteen. That is a cloak of resistance plus one. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. Nope. So uh, cloak. Of uh, resistance. Offers magic protection in the form of a plus one bonus and all saving throws, fortitude, reflex, and will. Nice. Yep. So, once again, you can't quite just walk out with that, but uh, hard to resist one of those. Ouch. Oh, that's a dad joke. Um, uh, after that roll is going to be unrest got reduced by a little bit, which is good news. Confirm leadership assignment rolls. Are you ready for leadership reassignment? Yep. So Elliot, oh, Elliot Boyo, about time, my friend, about time. Are we moving him to Magister, to uh, Treasurer, to to Royal Enforcer? Where, where are we putting, where are we putting? I forget, um, like, what's good at what. Magister is magic. It's actually his forte. He wanted to be a Magister, and I, in oh, fact, okay. Raymond, Raymond promised him that. when. when oh, he then, then, yep, yeah. then there we go. If you promised him it. And he's been tortured. Let the poor bloody bloat do what he wants. Um, so his intelligence, unlike his charisma, 
is a plus four. Um, so he actually uh, takes away the negative uh, four economy and he's instead gonna add a plus four to economy. It's an eight point swing on economy. Your economy roll is now a plus 29. At the time where you needed it the most, he is jumping economy through the roof, which is good. very good news. Um, so that's Holy Elliot. crap, an eight? Eight point yeah. swing on economy. What? Yeah. You're like, oh, that whole time we could have had all that money. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like, God damn it, Elliot. Why didn't you impress on me the importance? <sighs> okay, and then the other position is I think a wisdom role for counselor is wisdom or loyalty. Sorry, wisdom or um or charisma. And Leon is sorry, Lander is a wisdom character. So he actually uh gives a plus three to loyalty instead of only a plus two, increasing your loyalty by a little bit as well. Um, because that is what he's good at. So, copy, right, and uh, paste. So now, ooh, why did that just change colors? It's weird. Lander development. Why, why, why is Lander a different color? Is this is it because somebody's on it? It's I'm on it. Can you click away for a second, just in case? Or oh oh oh, I was I already copied and pasted on there, but you were still on. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, I know. I, I was doing it. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, cool. So, yeah, loyalty is now a three instead of a two, and your economy went up by by eight points, which is really good right now. Um, and we have one less vacancy, which is awesome. I'm glad to hear it, boys. Thank you. Um, after that, you're going to uh, offer to claim hexes. Are there any hexes your characters wish to claim right now? Um... I know that this green one over here, you are hoping it's already to... A, it's already explored, yeah. Correct. And it has the option of a fishery in the future. And you do have to finish building the roads that way soon, too. If we That's claim it, if we claim it and then we build two more roads, we're done. Le Chef has to build the other bridge. Um, I think I think you're supposed to... Oh, no, they're, they have to do this hex, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I, That's so true. I, think I would you're right. vote for that to complete our side of the bargain with Le Chef because it gives us more weight in our arguments when asking for soldiers and whatnot. I agree. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Showing that we quickly we quickly completed our side is also good. Okay, so we're going to increase your planes by one. Um, we're going to uh, pay the consumption, which I'll do right now for you, of one for uh, taking it. And, um, oh, oh, I said increase by one, and I totally uh, screwed that up. Makes it five total. Then you pay your consumption here, which is 23. Cool, you took it, that's good news. Um, you have to prepare it, which preparation of the lands counts as an improvement. Um, but luckily it has a very small cost. Uh, I'm getting there right now for you. It has a very small cost uh, and, takes, and, and is immediately done. So planes costs uh, one to prepare it. And then you're also going to build a road over there, which also costs one. So you have to pay two more BP to prepare the land, which you just, you, instead of going blue, you went straight to purple. Yay. And then um, you're also building one more road. So you technically have to build, because you just don't have enough time right now, because of how many uh, improvements you're that's to. that's the terrain improvement. Correct. So ne next turn, you will finish your your uh, your task to them completely. And it'll also minus? increase your economy, too. Cool. Have you minus that off? Oh, I did not minus those two. Would you like to? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I okay. was just double checking. Nope. So we're on You're 21. Fine. Perfect. So you took the land, you cl uh, prepared the land, and you built roads leading up to that land, but not on it yet. So your kingdom... Oh, I, I currently have this in the way so that the viewers, unfortunately, can't see what I just did. Um, so you can see how like their land is really expanded. They're legit, just like a, almost a straight arrow uh, here. You know? Like, seven hex kingdom now, guys. Rules start to change once you get to 11 hexes. Isn't that cool? All right. <laughs> we, we need to I don't start, know what that like, means. We're like, we're like, <laughs> we need to start getting a little width. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree. All right. So um, that is all of that phase there. Like, yeah, once we once we connect those two towns, then then we can start doing Yeah, some, well, then like, we can fill in. The, I, I just, won't it be glorious to not have a fucking problem for like a year? 
of just kingdom rolls. You know that's not happening. Shit out. I know. It ain't happening. Oh, I mean, <laughs> war. I, I mean, I mean, to be fair, if I did do something like that, you know that Naga is gonna come by and be like, "All right, trump cards." You guys are boring me. Come on, entertain, entertain, dance for me, puppets. <laughs> um, all right. After the signing, after um, you guys didn't do any more exploration. Nope. And it's been so long that I would say that you actually lost this exploration here because time happens and they go away. Um, do they? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Because the lands kind of shifts, things can move in, move out, so on and so forth. That's not a big deal because it doesn't really pay to it's explore. Fair, yeah. Um, all right, so terrain improvements. All right, declare edict. Oh, buildings, settlements, stuff like that. Over in Rid, uh, you're going to want to build another tenement. Tenement. Mm -hmm. You do. Which is one BP. Oh, we do not have many BP. Well, uh, 20 is all right. Uh, but it does bring us up to three unrest. No, 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 no. We're currently, uh, we're down to 11 now. No? What? No. Why? 20. What? That's what the the ending BP points are at. Oh, the the, the calculation thing. Are you looking at that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's because we've been scaling down the starting the whole time. Oh. What, what, what ending BP? He, I, I made him a little calculator on the the king. I should actually just remove that tab. You know, BP calculation, because we don't fucking use it anymore. And Tesh was doing his job, but we weren't doing ours. And we <laughs> I was looking at this like, uh, uh, panic mode. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that does increase your unrest to three. I've, I've done it. I've done yep. it, yeah. Now, remember, if you build anything else, you can build one of those for free. You can technically build a wall if you want to, and that does remove your uh, unrest by by four. one. Two, I think, if you build one wall. I thought it was four. I'm Let me double check. Pretty sure city walls cost two BP, and it removes two unrest once per settlement. Um, well, it would make sense to begin building a wall around around Reed, do you mm -hmm. think? Because of its proximity to the wall zone. Uh, yeah. What's your opinion? How much does it cost for BP? 4 BP will, will cover uh, a part of the side? No, how, how, do we, how much BP does walls cost again? Uh, I, just, I two. Them... just two. Just two. Just two, but okay, it... just two. Well then, we we should do it because. But that's 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 only walls on one, like that's one wall, isn't it? Like yep. one section wall. Yep, but that does increase the the defense uh by the city for the city by a good bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yeah. Start. We'll start on the walls. Okay. <laughs> if what we're worried about comes to pass, they'll need a wall. Now, if you would like, and this would cost you one PP instead of the typical cost of two. Um, the river can count as what you would call a moat. What it is, is you just have to make some slight modifications to this side of the river, including um, uh, making it just difficult for persons to cross that river to get to you for combat for that side. Um, it would actually just take a simple uh, loyalty check to convince the uh, the persons, like the, the people that are moving in, like your new, what are they called? Uh, the refugees that you're taking into your, into your uh, citizens now. A simple loyalty check um, will convince them to do the work so you can have the free extra build but it costs one BEP instead of the typical two, and it also reduces your unrest by one. So in theory, the gamble here is you lose nothing aside from spending BP. The success is your unrest drops to zero. Comprende? Yep. What, what do you think? We have 13 loyalty at the moment. I think we need to keep our unrest as low as possible for now. And I think we have the BP we're about to earn a shitload more BP because our economy has just taken a plus. Uh, okay, I say let's do it. Okay. Um, one second, I'm just finishing. What do I have to make? Uh, and then the right one, there we go. So you have to make a loyalty check for me, please, sir, which is unfortunately by far your lowest uh, yeah. uh, attribute. Uh, so it's D20 plus 13. Uh, correct. Uh, no, no, hold on. Unrest, unrest just dropped by a little bit. So it's actually D20 plus 15. Ooh, good. Why okay, what, what do we have to, what do we have to beat? It's a control check, but it's actually much easier than that because it's for the benefit of the war. I'm giving you a plus five. So you have to beat a 30, but it's going to be loyalty plus 20. Because you're convincing oh. people to save themselves. Like, hey, we're letting you loyalty stay here. Loyalty plus 20, okay. Loyalty yeah. plus 20. Mm-hmm. 
So we have to, it's a 50 50. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, more or less. Oh, except you have luck dice and whatnot. That's true. And like Norway said, 55. Please. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That's why it was 55, right? That's why it's 55. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Good job, Tess. <laughs> so you spend the 2 BP for your uh, city walls, which I think brings you to an, uh, uh, an 18. And then you spend one for the moat, it counts as, which brings you to a, a, a 17. And drop your unrest down, sir. I've done that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now we need to attempt to move into Warlike. There we go. Oh, yeah, we've got to do that again. Attempt. Um, is that what's I'm ready for, next? I'm ready for round two. Uh, terrain improvements, preparations. Oh, yep. Declare edicts. Any other edicts hey, we're adjusting or just we that? Have a... that uh, I think that's the only one we're changing. I just, think. Just, oh, I, yeah, I think you're only allowed to do one uh, uh, a thing anyways. All right, yeah. cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what's Sir? this? Loyalty check. But again, you get a plus five this time. So oh. it's plus 21. One D 20. But you have to, plus... you have to beat 30. Plus 21. Correct. Easy peasy. Why did you say it? Like hey! That? He uh, actually did oh, it! Oh, oh, oh. Actually did it! Like it. That, and at that moment, I was like, you doomed us. I should have damped. I should have damped. You switch I'm it to warlike, it hurts your loyalty a little. Sorry, hurts your stability and your economy a little bit, but that's okay. I don't like Scott. Why is it displaying. Uh, unfortunately, that's the way that moats and city walls work. They give you fractions, which is very, very frustrating. <laughs> Disgusting. I know it's very frustrating. Um, way I can, yeah, what I can. you do is instead of sum the equi the the math there, you just change it to round down. Uh, that, I've, one I've one of them so rounded it, up. I've changed it so it decreases the decimal point. No, no, it, one it of them rounded up. Buildings rounded up. It was oh. five point five, and it rounded up. Wait, where did you where it. did you change it to do that? You just you just click this button. No, the, the thing is, you 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 did some things, and it rounded up. It rounded up, not down. Yeah, I, I don't know what button you click. You just don't want to mess with the yeah, math. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, uh, Neil, it, you definitely made them round up, not down. No, I didn't make them round. Yeah, it you, you to did. Do that. No, I, I didn't. Oh, by, yeah, by reducing the thing, that. it automatically. Th that's okay. I, I can apply it myself. I can just uh, add the, the little function on there so it does round down. Because right now it's just sum. So, and I can change that to uh, sum round down. Okay. Or round down sum. Anyways, moving on. So after that is going to be, uh, it's been a long, long session, especially watching a table get built upstairs. That was lots of fun. So um, declare, all right, we did, the, we successfully, guys, seriously, everything aside for a second. You got your edict, that's awesome. Your army, uh, your population is through the roof right now. You have 3,500 people. What's 20% of 3,500? 700 soldiers. Uh, sorry, uh, a combination of 700 soldiers and militia. And if you wanted to hurt your loyalty, you can, in theory, get that all the way up to uh, 700 soldiers and 700 militia. So We are lacking for loyalty at the moment, though. I, I know, but it's one of those things to kind of bear in mind. Moving on. All right, so... Withdraw... Uh, oh, Jake. Jake the Snake. This is your economy mm -hmm. role, buddy. <laughs> this is my coins correct and your buddies have helped you they've increased your economy so it's a plus 28 it's one of those things where what's his name um you guys go in there and there's like a transaction that's starting to happen and and what's his name comes in uh elliot's like oh finally all right what's going on whoa whoa do not do this transaction do you see what he's doing to you <laughs> like pull out pull out and i, I imagine uh, jake 28 what was that correct jake i imagine you're doing this before you roll you're doing this to uh -huh. add to BP, not to add to your pocket, correct? Um, yeah, I guess. Do we have to say before we roll? Correct. Before you roll, you have to say because it's okay. where, where where the coffers are going. And then secondly, yeah. how many uh, uh, gold coins did you have? 300 mol gold coins. Okay. Roll for me, buddy. Do you want to modify that at all? Yes. Yeah, do it. Good idea. Every single one of our tax rolls is luck. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> yeah, luck. The luck's not working. Just, so just flat roll a d20. You guys actually received three luck total this session anyways, so you definitely had the three because you've only used two so far, including this one. Uh, what is it? Calculator. Luck. <laughs> Economy. Luck. You said 320? <laughs> no, it's 300. 
Okay, 300, sorry. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 42. Nice. 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 <laughs> uh, one of my students was working on like a video with that for like a, a couple months so just that meme was just in my head for months <laughs> i can't even do it no <laughs> <laughs> i wish the clip function was abusedly God short damn it. just have a clip of twitch just going uh, of test just going no <laughs> yeah. 300 just... gold uh, uh, times. <laughs> oh god, the clips if that was the case. 300 gold becomes the equivalent of 12,600 gold, but uh, when you oh. when you turn that into BP, that turns into th four, three BP. For, no, because because you're going through your economy, that turns into six BP for you, with 600 gold left over. If you sell another, um, uh, if you sell some magic items on your person, you can turn that into a seventh BP for you. Uh, or you can just have a hanging chad. So it's 6 BP <coughs> gives you back up to a 23 to the treasury. 6 BP? Fuck! Um, I don't have magic items to sell. Yeah, don't worry uh, about it. So 6 just BP is huge. 6 BP is great. Beautiful. Just leave okay. it that. Awesome. Moving That's on. That's basically an army you've just paid for. Yeah. <laughs> With 300 gold pieces. Yeah. It's weird. I, I am actively streaming. I'm on my Twitch.tv slash Taylor dashboard, and it says, Jesse Cox is live. Watch. I'm literally live. It's advertising for me to go watch Jesse. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, it's like, it... hey, Scott, do you like good content? Stop streaming. You, you, and then... <laughs> exactly. I was you like... Wonder, you want to know something that's really annoying with Twitch? I, I am one, I'm currently subscribed to you, and yet... I have only just now followed you, apparently, because it unfollowed me while I'm subscribed to yeah, you. Yeah, it's frustrating. I, I, see? I, it, it, makes, it makes me chuckle when I see Silencio Steve is now following you, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. as, like, an email every uh, every couple of months. I'm like, oh, thanks, Steve, about time. <laughs> so, um, so, anyways, uh, let's push on. We're almost done with this. And I'm sure tax everybody's roll. Gonna it. It's tax roll. So it's going to be uh, one D20 like, like plus 28. Oh, no, I didn't I? Plus 28 divided by 3. Who wants to do it? You know what? I'll do it this time. Don't fuck it up, Tash. <laughs> uh, so, D20 plus... 28 divided by 3. But you're going to luck it. Depending on the roll. Depending on what the roll is. Uh, I, I can, I'll wait and do it after, just because... So, uh, divided by how much? 3. You should do 1d20 plus 1d4 plus 28. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll add it in there. Yeah, it, that's it our goal. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Natty 20, Natty 4, coming right up. That doesn't look like it worked. That didn't what? work at all. Nope. No. Nope, that didn't work what at all. What happened there? So let's just, yeah. do the, let's just do the math. So that's going to be uh, 30, 42 divided by 3. That's actually an even, that's actually a correct number, isn't it? 42 divided by 3? Hold on. 10.6. Is it? No, it's 14, yeah. I was like, that's oh, actually an wait. even number. Oh, yeah. then it did work. Well, no, no, yours shouldn't have said 14, it should have said 42. But that's okay. So, no, so. What? No, because I added the divided by 3. Well, it, it just needs to be rolled slightly differently than, than how you had rolled it. No, he's, he, he's right. It's showing the BP we got 14. <gasps> oh, oh my God. I am. <laughs> you, could, you made me doubt myself. I am so tired. <laughs> Tesh, you are amazing. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. Uh, 14 more BP. You guys brought back up to 37. <laughs> oh, look, what nice. did I do? What, how did I fuck this up? <laughs> We need more Elliots in our economy generation, guys. Yes. Yep. Yep. Well, who else affects the economy? Marshall is. Yeah, we need. Is uh, economy? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Actually, we should have had a plus four and all that because we're putting uh, Tally as Marshall. No. No. Why not? 
<laughs> Marshall deal. No, Marshall deals with law in your outskirty cities. Listen, this is how this is how that conversation would go. Listen, we're gonna have you handle this. She'd be like, "Oh, I don't. I really don't think I'm the person for this job." And 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 one's like, "No, you'd be great for it." She's like, "No, I really, really don't." Listen, do me a favor. Just try on the uniform and tell me if you ever got it. She comes out with this like leather outfit on. He's like, "Oh no." Definitely. And she's like, are you sure? I feel like it's really tight, isn't it? And he's like, definitely. Yep. Uh, no, you're Asian time. Let's go. <laughs> All right, moving on. I need to stick someone in that Marshall position. Um, uh, oh, no, glug muck. <laughs> worked like a charm. The work here was done. <laughs> Um, so moving on, you uh, you are now past March and into uh, we're starting with the beginning of April, and uh, we have to go um, because one person's doing another game, two people want to go to bed, and I am gone. God, I thought Scott was continuing that. I was like, I, I can't thought do, he was. I, thought I was, was like, I can't do another Sarah Ross Scott. Like, I gotta we, be on a different stream in like half an hour. We've gotta go. We've gotta go. But I do want to say that reports have come in. That their army is on the march. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. You telling me that their army has mar started marching in the time it took a bloody crow to fly all the way there and back? Have you ever heard the term, as the crow flies? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a British term. Fast. It's a British term, and the British <laughs> lost the direct. war. direct. No, the, Brit the British lost the war. Oh, my God. Yeah. I want my impact, take a Scott. Month to fly I want it back, back, and I want his intel. Like, Damn it. Yeah. You'll, you'll get his intel, you'll get everything. Lots of RP next time, so. All right, speaking of next time, this was the <laughs> end like of the- I'm just starting to chill. Between like, season two month. and season three, this is like the season three pre-session. Let's get yeah, out so of here. So now we've had all our training on how to do grand combat. We all understand the premise. We've had a good practice, several hours of practice, in fact. There's been no discussion off topic. Scott hasn't left to go and make a table midway through his bloody stream. Dude, I, I text my wife. I was like, they're here right now. She goes, they're fucking early. I was like, yeah. She goes, well, hey, at least the table's here. I was like, I'm live and not downstairs live. She's like, oh. Well, at least they're not setting it up about that. <laughs> do, you, do you guys want to roll HP now or wait till next week? Oh, no, no, do it oh, now. Yeah, 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 so now, yeah. quick, quick, quick. Oh, yeah, Thank you, true. Jake. Always, always picking up my slack. I forgot I pre-existed. <laughs> Jake's like, I showed up this session for one thing. Well, two no, things. Don't worry. What are those magic items? Where's my HP? Did they <laughs> open the chest on Friday? Can we open the chest so we now? Just hit... Yeah, we just he, hit the hit die. Scott's, Scott's going to pay us over time for this, don't I? I, I I'm always just, forget I'm every time. To play K. Go, go, we, go. We just hit, hit die, right? All right, hit points. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> 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 Are you allowing us to, to do the same thing as last time? Hey, hey, Neil. Three, three levels, three levels in a bloody row. I have rolled a one on my HP. <laughs> anybody that wants to drop a prayer, to me. anybody that wants to drop a prayer can cause a reroll. But you got to do it quick because we're about to do our outros. So if you want to do it, you got to you got until we finish our outros. Um, I, I gotta know though, Val and uh, Ray, what is your total health points while you're looking that up? Ray, where can we find you? Who are you? <laughs> hey, I am Neil, or at Naghite. You can find me on here, or the Discord at Naghite, or on Twitter at Naghite underscore. Um, I um, am playing on Ollie's stream in just over half an hour. So tune in there for a court case. Yay! We're going to be put on trial and hung. Ooh. Oh, man, fine. That's Interesting. I need, I need to catch corruption. up on that campaign. Um, uh, I will also say you can find me uh, playing D&D &D on Mondays uh, on Ollie's Patreon. It comes up there. It's audio only. It's a lovely little podcast, and that's an academy game. We're level zero. It's cute. Uh, I play a uh, fey sprite. I've got big wings. I'm cute. Um, and I would also like to oh, say uh, I, I I will re re pop it um, one more time. The 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 GoFundMe for my friend. Uh, and I would like to say a really big thanks for those of you who have donated or shared it. Um, it is really very kind of you. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, thank you, sir. Thanks for sharing that story last week as well. Uh, Jake. You, 
find where all that? Uh, yep, you can find me here for Kingmaker and um, over on Lost Initiative with Dark Sun. Awesome. And what when we play? And Tesh, um, you look very tired. You want to go to bed. Hi, I'm Tesh with the Tesh Tube. You can find me under that name on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, all my Twitter for cute animal gifts and to stay up to date on all the things I'm doing. Uh, and specifically, something I'm doing uh, this weekend on Sunday, my time, uh, at uh, uh, 12 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time. If you punch that into Google, it will tell you whatever time that is your time. Um, uh, I am playing through uh, Resident Evil 6 with a friend of mine, Miss Scarlett Hanager. We we played through it and recorded it, and my computer exploded, so I lost all the footage. That's horrible. So we're going to play through it again on stream so I can put that up on the channel so we can catch up and continue our series because that game is the most hilarious kind of jank. Oh. It is so horrible, and I love it. That was like our pre-session when we were trying to record your thing, and it got screwed up. We had to start over. Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, that being said, I have left it like half a year to figure out a solution. I tried to get stuff off my hard drive, failed, and then I just sort of did nothing. So we were finally like, you know what, fuck it. We want to continue the series because it's hilarious how jank this game is and we're having fun doing it. So to continue the series, we're going to do this live stream of us just rushing through the, the, the first part of the game we did, having fun with how hilariously bad and jank that game is. And then uh, we'll continue the game in a series on YouTube. Beautiful. I'm Gilric. You already found me, and you probably know where else to find me. That's cool. Um, uh, we're going to go. Uh, time's almost up for the reroll. Neil, what's your total HP? And uh, uh, what's your total HP? Oh, everybody now. 35. 20, 23. It's gone from a 21 <laughs> to a 23. <laughs> the source the power is getting beef. And one. Actually, um, wait. No, no, no. That's not right, because that's using my modified constitution. Which obviously would have gone away, because it's been a month. That's using my minus two con. Oh, so what's the con difference? So my con should be on... 14. Let me change that. Um, so it should be 4. So I'm now on 25 instead of 20. Okay. Cool. 25. I'm a full person more health than you. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, you are. I've got no fucking HP. I've rolled so badly over and over. Okay. Sorry, guys. Neil Funny wants to reroll. Welcome to my but life. mind you, you keep That's getting rerolls. You keep getting rerolls. Yeah. All that, right, everybody. That's why I stopped rolling for HP. If I have the option. Fair, fair enough. But actually, it's fine because you can. I, I read in the Pathfinder rules, you can do some training. To increase your health pool. I'm sure you made that up somewhere. All right, bye, guys. Uh, you have about 45. So oh, 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 oh! There's a special message from Naga. It simply says, "Bitch," but paid the cost. Quickly reroll, Neil. Reroll. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> simply said, "Bitch." Wait. So uh, Naga's a devil, right? If I reroll this, <laughs> am I selling him my soul? Oh no, no, no! You ain't got a soul to sell. Well, Just reroll. I know it's already taken. Right, reroll. Here we go. <laughs> I rolled the same thing. <laughs> he rolled the same thing. No, no, he oh. no, no. I got one more. Just like the last reroll. What? I'm yeah, that's on... what happened last time. Oh, well, got yeah, exactly. Got like exactly last one. Time. Reroll. Reroll. is cursed. I need some damnation feats giving me health, please. <laughs> oh God. Listen, we gotta we gotta go for the sake of everybody's sanity and Neil getting lunch or whatever. So, oh, so, so sorry, sorry. Unless somebody's doing you another one. Ones. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Oy vey. Look, I I needed to steal your luck for our son.